of his teammates didn't think he was hurt. <laughs> mm. And we know how that turned out. Mm. Yeah, but in and that now, case, saying, the whole now, medical staff cleared him to play. You haven't been cleared. I, he has been listed as questionable. Is that cleared to play? Well, but but here's the thing. And in and, and, and the article, if you read it, Skip, you know, everybody keeps saying, you know, well, when is he going to come back? Or when is he going uh, mm -hmm. to come back? Or if someone says this, the players are saying that. But the athletic trainer hasn't cleared him. Well, if the athletic trainer hadn't cleared him, why is there act, angst? Why are you so concerned? Because he hasn't been cleared, which leads you to believe what, Skip? If the athletic trainer does not uh, clear me to be on the field, why is there concern with the head coach? Why are there mm -hmm. concerns with my teammates? Because I haven't been cleared. Okay. Because it's telling me something that I'm not so sure that they believe that Kevin Durant is working as hard as he needs to be or he isn't as hurt as he's leading us on to be. Okay. The to truth believe, is excuse me. I don't know. I don't think you know. I don't think anybody knows no. for sure. But this is what I do know. The truth is, to all of your opening points, this series should have been a sweep. Because if you it really look been. hard at it, if you look at game two in Toronto, if number mm -hmm. two hadn't played so poorly down the stretch, and by his standards that we've seen in games one, three, and four, number two played poorly down the stretch. This, this mm -hmm. should be over because it was on a platter for him to close it out a, a, in game two at home to go up two to nothing. And remember what happened. Clay went out with his hamstring pull with eight minutes left. Steph Curry down Correct. the stretch of game two after he had dehydrated under the pressure, I believe, to live up to, to start game two. Remember, he had had the nervous stomach issue. He, he doesn't mm -hmm. even get up a shot down the stretch in the last eight minutes. He goes 0 for 0, 0 for 0 from the free throw line, one assist, and they go eight straight empty trips from 539 down to seven seconds left. And Iggy saved them because number two couldn't save Toronto because Toronto had every opportunity to win that game because Steph Curry couldn't and Iggy finally did. Well, my point is, the truth is, Toronto outplayed Golden State in game two. They should have won that yes. one, okay? So I look at yes. the, the quarter by quarter. Toronto's won 13 of 16 quarters. And mm -hmm. what did we see in games three and four in at Oracle? We saw, a right. remember, Golden State in this dynastic run has owned third quarters. What happened in the third quarter Correct. of game three and then game four? Toronto beat them at their own game. Toronto beat them Correct. in game three, 36 to 31 in the third quarter. And then the other night, game four, and this was all time pathetic, Toronto won the third quarter 37 to 21 and took the game and the series over. So, so what does that tell you about Golden State? That they can't even do what they've been doing. That they got out, yes. that they got out Golden State at Golden State, right? You, you make a very good point, Skip, because throughout this run, they've been plus 11 in the third quarter. And starting in game three, there was minus five. And I believe the, de the, the determining factor of who won game four was they got outscored it was, uh, by 16. They went down by four. They were down by four, entering the third, uh, entering the third Raptors. Yep. And they come out heading into the fourth up by 12. Mm. That was really the coup de grace because that's when they make their move. That's where they step on the gas and they leave everybody in the dust. Now, no matter how much they step, you know what, Skip, sometimes if you get a 1983 Ford Festival, you can step on the gas all you want to. You're not going anywhere in a hurry. Mm. So right now, because know? they have no Kevin Durant. Did, did you have that car? <laughs> Skip no, Did no, you I, have I'm it? just saying, I know, Skip, I had a friend that had a brother that had one. I'm just saying, we used to take it on a Friday night. Really? And we could step on the gas, and it wasn't going anywhere in a hurry. Had one of those. Because yeah. the thing is... <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Because there is no Kevin Durant. And see, Skip, you, the thing is with Steph, they've asked Steph to do something he's not accustomed to doing. Carry the workload which means lead us in scoring, lead us in rebound, lead us in assists. We need you diving on the floors for loose balls. All the things that Playing you took defense, for granted that LeBron had done. Boxing out. Yeah. All those little things. How yeah, about that, Steph? Yeah. That, that takes a toll on you, Skip, because normally, who leads him in assists? Draymond. Who leads him in rebound? Draymond. He leads him. He can lead him in scoring, but the scoring load was also divvied up because you got, you got uh, uh, KD. See, no matter how rough the waters got, you could go to that Captain KD, say, Cap, we need a bucket. We need you to stem this tide. I got you.
Mm. And he can do that. Now you don't have that. So now what do you do, Steph? This is your time. This is your moment. It's not as easy as he thinks being James Harden, carrying the workload. Mm. Being a LeBron James, yep. carrying the workload. It's a lot, it's a lot, it's a lot easier mm -hmm. said than actually done. Mm. And here's my problem tonight. Once again, number two has no primary defender who's healthy on him. Because Clay was Clay was dragging his hamstring the other night. He couldn't defend number two, and Iggy hasn't been That's able to defend him. That's what we do to him. him. Okay, but look what Iggy That's comes what into this do. series with a bad Achilles and a bad calf, and God knows what else. He's I think he turned his ankle in game one, and he can't stay in front of him the way he was able to stay in front of LeBron in the the 2015 <laughs> Finals <laughs> when he won MVP. So all of a sudden, yeah, but number two's got a free reign. He's got a super highway to the basket. Way to go. Well, see, that Iggy was 31. This Iggy is 34 with another four straight finals on his mm. resume. And guess what? Clay and Iggy, okay, you talk about the hamstring, you talk about the ankle and their Achilles, their knees. Guess what's going to leave this series hurt? Their butts. Because Ka Kawhi is putting butts in them. Mm. That's what's going to be hurt. We know that for so, certain. And now at some point in time, you're going to have to get that man his credit skill. Uh, you're going to have to call him Kawhi Leonard. I am not. Finals MVP. He's dead to me. Two over. Yeah. You can, no, 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 I, no. I, don't let I, him be dead to you, Skip. I, I used to love him. I used to tell you he was even better than LeBron two years ago, but not okay. anymore. I, I, I can – look – Hold on. So, so because he don't have, because he doesn't wear the black and silver, that means he's not better than LeBron anymore, right? I I don't even want to talk about it because it's hard for me to talk about what he's doing. We're gonna do a whole topic about this, and I'm gonna save it for later. We're gonna talk about some stunning Danny Green quotes about this guy that puts it all in perspective yeah. for me. But the point is, you keep putting in the perspective of he's hurt. He's still hurt. He's been hurt for like eight years since yeah. he, that he's been playing no, pro he's basketball. Just, stop, stop. Yeah. You and, exaggerate. And you told me going into game three the other night, clearly there's cause for concern because he's not right. We're, I'm showing you the Jordan mm -hmm. Bell video where he just, he blows around Jordan what? Bell and dunks it. And he says, that yeah, but he had to regather himself. He had to blow uh. How did he look to you on Friday night? Did he look gimpy to you? Did he look limpy look, to you? Uh, look. He, he, he looked, looked transcendent really, great to me. He, he, he looked completely 1,000% healthy as usual to me on Friday night. So can we please take Ooh, away the injury going. excuse? No, no, please? no, no, we're not going to do it. Mm. We're not going to do it because we know he's still banged up. He's getting treatment around the clock. But I tell you what, this is what Kawhi Leonard is doing. This is what Kawhi... Kawhi doesn't realize or understand. I don't know if he understands what he's doing. And we won't understand until he's done. But Kawhi Leonard took down three dynasties. He took down the Miami Heat. Yep. He's about to take down the Warriors tonight. Mm -hmm. And he destroyed the Spurs. He did. Genghis he Khan he didn't do this many quit dynasties. On him. He quit on Manu they Ginobili quit. and Tony injured. Parker and Greg Popovich. Way to go. That's your guy. You can root for him. I won't. I'm sorry. But I'm, I will, I will, I will root for Golden State tonight. And unlike you, because you jumped bandwagons once again, because you had, <laughs> as I recall, Golden State in six games, right? That is mathematically impossible now. As I let's see if I calculate, yeah. that can't happen. But Golden State in seven <laughs> can happen, and that was my prediction. And I am sticking with it for no good reason. <laughs> I have no reason to stick with it except my foolish pride. And I am hanging exactly. in because I told you Clay Thompson was going to have a big finals, and boy did he have a big game four the other night. Made eleven of eighteen, mm -hmm. made four threes. I if if Clay Thompson can go for. 35-ish, maybe even 40, they got a shot tonight. But they have to run plays for him, and they can't let Steph shoot more shots than Clay does. This has to be Clay's game, Clay's night, the, the game that you remember as the Clay Thompson game. And if I could just get them back game to six. Oracle, maybe I got a chance. You never know, because we've seen well, so, three so one leads go up in smoke before. Yeah, but you got to have the head. Hey, you need LeBron to do that. Oh, so in other words, no, you, you need Clay Thompson to, to have it. You need a Clay Thompson mm. from Game Six against OKC, mm. that 11 three point game on that Saturday night. That's I what you need. It well, huh? I do, and maybe that'll happen tonight. That's my prediction. I'm going with the score of Game Two all over again. I'm going 109, 104, visiting team tonight. Thank you. I oh, would love oh, to you see are visiting. That well, game. good. So we get some do.
We got a do bet nope. coming. <laughs> I wouldn't bet a drop on it. I told you I got no good yes. reason. I'd love to see this one head back to Oracle because I'd hate mm. for Friday night's game to be the final mm. Warriors game to mm. unfold yep. when it ended like that. Yep. Jen, right. don't do that. Don't do that? Mm. Uh, we'll no. see. I, I can't help it, Shannon. I, I'd hate for that <laughs> legacy to end on that note. But uh, if you thought this was a good topic, wait till you hear Shannon and Skip go after the next one. Was Kawhi Leonard the best player on the floor Friday night? That's what we're discussing up next. Don't forget to check us out on the Fox Sports Channel on Sirius XM. We'll be right back, everybody.